What is happening guys? So this is how to install the 80 millimeter um, dust boots on the spindle. Um, these dust boots will work with the Elite version um, Elite mount. So what you'll end up doing is take this off. You can pull the brush rings off. You can also pull off the bottom. I just take this acrylic and I just put it up here anywhere. So it really depends. Uh, air cooled spindles about 80% of them are longer down here where you can't actually mount to. So there's different size bottoms. Um, this is a three inch bottom and this is the 2.30 bottom. Uh, my air cool spindle is a round motor and it's very short and small. I also have a, another water cooled spindle. That is, well, it's extremely big, but it's small to this area right here. Um, I had a, another spindle that was air cooled that was like this far of stick out, which the only way I was gonna be able to mount my boot to was with a three inch, um, the three inch bottom. So it really is based on how far your collet nut is from the actual 80 millimeter part of your spindle. So what I do is I just mount this up here somewhere like that. And I put the brush rings on and we move my camera down so you can see what I'm doing. But ultimately, what you're going for is you're going for that collet nut just to stick down past that hard plastic brush ring. And I'm trying to do this one-handed. About a sixteenth of an inch. Let's see if I can get this to stick. Hey, that works. So you're just trying to get this to stick down about a sixteenth of an inch, about right there. And then you would just install and then you just install the hose port and then crank this down so it can't move and that's as simple as that one and that's the 2.5 80 millimeter um, dust boot the Nighthawk that I make um, all these tops on all the 80 millimeters are made out of Lexan so um, the nice thing about Lexan it does not just shatter. Um, if I was to take this dust boot, which I'm not going to do, I could bend it all the way around on itself and it would just bend. Um, then you'd have to try to force it back, obviously. But, but the point is, you're not gonna get it to shatter. So that is really cool about Lexand. And all the 80 millimeter boots are made out of Lexand. Same thing with the 80 millimeter four inch version. I'm just gonna put it on like this, put my finger there, to figure out where it needs to go, and then clamp it down. Also, flex and top. But that's as easy as it is to install the spindle, and with spindles, there's not any one given spot that I could have just did it like I did for the Makita routers. So best thing is to do, make sure that collet nut is barely sticking out past the hard plastic. Anyways, thanks for watching guys.